Ciao a tutti, we're day 56 of our wine quarantine, four more days, and today we're heading back down to Sicily, specifically on the Etna, and we're talking about a white grape known as Carricante. Carricante is definitely today considered in, in Italy one of the best white grapes, together with the famous Verdicchio, Fiano from the area of Vellino, Trebbiano Abruzzese, and also Timorasso from Piemonte. Very interestingly, for a grape that is so highly regarded that the name comes from the Italian word caricare, which means load up in the reference to loading up the cart or the donkey that were used for transportation of the grapes due to the very high copious amount of grapes that these vines can produce. Now, Caricante is a really a one-zone variety, meaning that it's only found on the Etna slopes in the, countries, in the countryside around the towns of Via Grande, Randazzo, but also some other communes. Now, um, it grows uh, at very high elevations, we're talking about upwards to a thousand meters, which means 3,000 feet, and these are areas where the Nerello Mascalese, the red grape of Etna, cannot fully ripen. The past of Caricante, though, was different because the variety used to be planted throughout Sicily, although things have changed quite a bit. When you look at, the phys you know, physiologically, Caricante has a bunch that is medium-large in shape, as this cylindrical, conical type of shape with a little bloom on the berries, and it thrives really in these very extreme conditions where there's a lot of rain and not a lot of sunlight. Now, the vines are typically trained as alberello, which is the common bush vine on the Etna, and specifically like soils that are sandy of volcanic origin because the roots of the vine can actually easily penetrate the soils. So now, the wines are, uh, the, made with Caricante typically have a very intense lemony mineral and saline character referred to in the area as Montagnolo, or the wines of the mountains, and can be easily described as a, almost like a Riesling lookalike type of wine. Overall, Canicante accounts for only a small proportion of the grapes planted on Etna. I figured that in 1915 there were over 4,000 hectares in Sicily planted under Caricante. Today there's only about 50 hectares. For the most part, you know, um, it grows uh, very well and specifically very, very well on the eastern slopes of Etna, also on the southern slopes of Etna. Um, as a matter of fact, the wines labeled as Etna Bianco Superiore can only be produced with grapes coming from the eastern slopes. Um, the reason being because this area is the closest to the sea, we have these very strong wind currents coming from the top of the mountain all the way down to the sea where it meets the warm breezes and ultimately this is also the coldest and rainiest area of Etna which is really the ideal condition for Caricante to perform at its best. The wine produced with Caricante can be labeled in two different ways as an Etna Bianco Doc where you have to have a minimum of 60% Caricante grapes or Etna Doc Superiore where you have to have a minimum 80% Caricante, although the best expressions are definitely the ones made with 100% varietal. The wine I wanted to show you today as a representation of the varietal and the category is by Donna Fugata, very well-known estate from Sicily, and this one is an Etna Bianco Doc called Sul Vulcano. So um, this wine is made with 100% Caricante grape, the, the slopes or the vineyards are located in the northern slopes of the Etna, specifically in between the townships of Randazzo and Passo Pisciaro, very known, very famous areas, for, most importantly for the production of Nerello Mascalese. The vineyards are located between 730 and 750 meters of elevation, so we're talking about roughly 2200 feet, and the wine is produced by uh, doing a stainless steel fermentation, but then spends about 10 months between tank and French barrels, which are only of second and third passage. So basically used barrels to not influence the character of the wine itself, and ultimately another nine months in the bottle. Let's take a look at the wine. So immediately you can see this beautiful, this is 2017, by the way, this beautiful hay straw type of color, very brilliant in the glass. Let's take a sniff. Mm. Immediately there is this um, beautiful white flower sensation, definitely also notes of very delicate notes of citrus, vegetable, uh, but also almost like a fennel front, which is very pleasant on the nose, and ultimately all followed by some very persistent notes, mineral notes, especially flint, right? On the palate, fantastic sapidity. The wine is very dry because it's an iodine saline quality that really captures all the caricante, the volcano. Of these vineyards are 
Ultimate is very, very clean, laser-like, very sharp, great tension, really a beautiful, enjoyable glass of wine to go to some of the great cuisine from Sicily and some of the fantastic seafood that come on the island. It's all for today in Alta Quarry. Ciao.